Hello. So, today we're going to be playing Animal Crossing, and I'm going to give you all a little tour of my island. So this is me, this game. So, so first on the on the stop is just a little neighborhood. So I got try to get matching flowers for everyone, you know. Just the fuck of it. Uh, got some stuff on the beach. A little volleyball court. Uh, got a little chill zone. Some fire flowers. A little chill zone over here. A little looking thing that I wish I could look through. It'd be cool. But new. Uh, got some more houses. The usual. Oh, got Raymond. You know, the best. Um, and then here's like the little like, little like rest area. Kind of like in front of Nook's Cranny. Just start of hanging out, get some snacks. Uh, then we got my my orange farm to get these reds that will eventually, which hear me out, hear me out, took me literally months of in-game time to get this bad boy, which I finally had happen the other day, and I'm so fucking excited, dude. I'm so happy. Now I just need more, because I want to get so many. And if those of you that don't know, the roses are not occurring, they don't occur in, in nature, and they were only really made like what 15 years ago through a large amount of uh, splicing and or it's just a Twin Peaks reference which I like both so yeah there's that there's my wall of gyroids that protect my farm uh, not the master sword my little park or not park uh, campsite then we got the farm which I have uh, it used to be nowhere near this huge I have tripled its size as I realized um, if I ever you know, don't time skip, which I totally don't do. Yeah, uh, this is an easy way to make money, by the way. Like if you water these and you get them to where they're two or three instead of one, like these where I, I didn't water them, uh, you can sell each little stack of these rows of three for like ninety thousand bells. It's great. So you can get like three hundred thousand bells every other day, which is pretty awesome, actually. A wheelbarrow just because it looks nice. Got a windmill just because it's cute. Um, the next on the thing is my little chill spot. If I can hop down. There you go. I like to sit here. And before I add anything else in this little island, this little tiny pond was here. And this has been my chill spot since I started this island. It's just like nostalgic now. I got my smoker over here. Got to check on my meats, which is a little morbid in this world, but you know, whatever. I'm not gonna think about that. Um, I got my park, which I got all the things you can get from the uh, Nook Miles. Got them all here. Gangs all here. Can't really do anything with them, but it looks cute. I'm cool with that. Then I got my flowery fields here. Oh, and of course, my rock quarry. I will eventually expand upon my little bamboo area. But yeah, uh, I didn't know that there is a trick to get rocks to spawn where you want, so I just had all these slowly happen over time naturally. And I realized that, holy crap, that's awesome. And uh, then I found out that there's a way to do it, like making like a grid of mannequins, but you know, whatever. Cool. I'm cool with this. Uh, here's my soccer field. Took weirdly a long time to set up and measure out. I uh, got some more hedges just because it's cute. Uh, when they bloom, they'll be white and blue too, so they'll continue the pattern. Wait a minute. That's not supposed to be there. Whatever. But anyway, going through there. Got some ridge. Then I got my little what you call it? Water feature. I don't know what to call it, but it looked cool. I thought it'd be cool. Got a little hop and islands here, just cause, fuck it, why not? Looks cute. Um, and then here's the beginning of the grove. So I got the bushes here to keep them from the flowers from growing in. And then obviously here's the ones that are native to my island. Got apple. And then on the second tier, we got all the non-native fruits. So we got you know cherries, oranges, peaches, pears. And then on the third tier, we got all of the above, which. <sighs> If this were New Leaf, this would be where my perfect fruit go. But new. No. And then for some reason you can't put anything on the fourth tier. And you can't even go up there. Which I find weird. But that's okay. You know, it's alright. It gets done. It gets the job done. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. And down here I got my coconuts. Which, now that I think about it, I don't know if there are bananas in this game. I don't think I've seen them. I'm assuming not. If there are, well, too late now. 
Oh, here's Cap'n. Chillin'. Uh, yeah, there you go. Wow. Cold shoulder. Cold shoulder. Cold turtle shoulder. That's okay, though. He's a, he's a hard-working man. Oh, hello. And weeds? Ew. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, my goodness. This is so embarrassing. Sorry, guys. I promise this doesn't happen all the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> um, let's go check that bottle. Peach jam. Nice. Yum, now I can make some peach jam. And he realizes, like, huh? Just fucking vanishes in his hand. <laughs> That's not spooky. Anywho, up here I got my native, insanely overgrown daffodil population. These have all literally just happened over time, and I just kind of let it happen. Because, uh, the more these are, the less likely, you know, like, fossils and stuff will spawn. So I'm good. Um, then I think up here is just kind of this little pond to fish in, and then I've got my renewable resources area, which, oh my goodness, I haven't been here in a while. I got overtaken by daffodils. I used to keep this area clear just so I could put more there when I got them. Uh, it's not that windy of a day. It's okay. Um, I think that's really this whole area, actually, just because... Yeah, nothing down here. Now I'm gonna run out of them. I don't know why. They're daffodils. They'll survive. Uh, then over here. Across the skipping stone. I got this little skipping pillar. That's where red shows up. I swear to God, he's shown up twice the whole time I've played this game now. Until I go the other area. This is where eventually when I get all the pieces, I'm going to build a giant castle. But I'm gonna, I made it all aged so it looks like it's like weathered like it was here before before I showed up. <sighs> I hope it looks nice. I'll totally give you guys another tour once I update it, if I get the other pieces. Goodness. Um, then over here, it just kind of connects to that other area by the um, soccer field. Yep, over here. This little creek just kind of connects to the rest of the island. Just look cute. Doesn't really do anything. Um, everyone's hanging out. I put some flowers behind my museum and stuff, just that way I don't have to worry about like the little ground X's or stars showing up. Just because, you know, one less thing to worry about every day. Uh, got more hoids. That's okay. That's okay. Um, then, oh, got another one. This area I haven't really done anything with yet, but also I don't know what to do with it yet. Not sure. To be determined. TBD. I'm sorry. Yeah, nothing much over here. My museum. Got some hedges up front. Uh, looks cranny and the Able Sisters. Just kind of hanging out. Some bars behind there so they don't grow. And, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much my whole island. Uh,. I thought this would go a lot longer, honestly. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Oh, hey, what's up, Rina? What am I talking about? Is it a new reaction? Oh, it's a shirt. Oh, that's cute. Color block dress shirt. Nice. But I'm wearing an outfit. So I can't try it on. I'm sorry, Raymond. I'm sorry, Raymond. I'm just going to bury that jar over here. And, uh, yeah. Um. I, I suppose I should end it here, then. I already went to the whole island. Um. Uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, thanks for being here for my island tour. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well. <laughs> um. <laughs> oops. That sucks. But, yeah. Uh. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Uh. Comment, like, subscribe. Or not. Do what you want. I love you. Just the same. And yeah, uh, take care, and I shall see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.